Good morning! Today I'm going to show you around Harajuku, one of my favourite places in Tokyo and take you on a tour and show you how to get there and some of my favourite shops. Harajuku is the alternative fashion capital of Tokyo and Kawaii Central. Today I'm going to show you around the famous main street, Takeshita Street and then next week I'm going to show you some less well-known places that you might not know about. You can get the train to Harajuku Station, as you might expect. We're staying in Shinjuku and you can actually walk there. It's about half an hour walk maybe and it's quite nice because you can go through Meiji Jingu Shrine and go right by Yogi Park before you get to Harajuku Station. It's Monday today so it shouldn't be too busy in Harajuku so I want to have a good look around all the shops. If you come at the weekend it will be really busy and crowded so just be ready for that. And here we are at the start of Takeshita Street. This is the main shopping street where most of my favourite shops are. It's pedestrianised and there's just so much to explore. This entrance is really famous and they change the balloons sometimes to have different decorations. One time I was here and they had little fish like Finding Nemo. So today's a Monday. It still is quite busy. It looks like there's a lot of people down there but it does get a lot busier than this at the weekend. Right at the start of the street is Kurikura. If you can read Katakana, that says Kurikura. There's some stores down this side street here. They do look a bit touristy. Lots of you comment on my cat sunglasses. This is where I got them from. And right opposite that is Wego. There's a couple of Wego stores I think along here and that is really popular. Lots of people like that one. Oh, and we've got some more Purikura here. Here's Paris Kids. This is a shop with lots of accessories, hair accessories and jewellery, and they're all quite cheap. And some more Purikura. I wonder if these are all the same thing, just linked from different entrances. To the left here we've got Daiso. That's a 100 yen shop. There's the first crepe shop. Harajuku is famous for crepes, and they do so many different varieties. <laughs> what a shop this is, Drug Honey. Here's some cute hoodies. A lot of people like this shop as well, WC, W Heartsy. They've got some cute skirts here. Here's where I got my cat hoodie. <laughs> they still got it. <laughs> Already I've seen quite a few things with fur fabric or like textured fabrics on clothes. Pon. <laughs> Pon Pon way. Here we've got lots of cute socks. This shop called Tutu Anna. Over here we've got a shop you might know already, Claire's Accessories. I always avoid it because I used to have a part-time job there. <laughs> I spent way too long in Claire's. To the right we've got uh, Alta, which is a mall, mall department store. They've got a Disney store in there. There are bigger Disney stores elsewhere in Tokyo though, if that's what you're looking for. There's quite a big one in Shibuya. My favourite shop, ACDC Rag. There's about five of them, I think, along to Kester Street. <laughs> and they do have slightly different things in them, so I always hunt through all of them. <laughs> this is how far we've come so far. And there's still a lot more to look around that way. Tossy Candy Factory is where to get the famous big rainbow candy flosses. They never used to have them when I first came to Harajuku, but now they've become a sort of classic Harajuku thing. The crepes were the original though. <laughs> They're trying to take over from the crepes. And then next door to that you've got Etude House, which is a Korean makeup brand. They've got a really cute shop with the pink roof. In this shop, Happy Hearts, downstairs is all underwear, so you might think there's nothing you're interested in, unless you're interested in underwear. <laughs> But upstairs, if you go up there, they've got some figures and character goods and things. Totoro is showing us the way. <laughs> Fan cotton candy. <laughs> Maybe he's got some stuck in his teeth. We've got some gachapon at the top. Here's another crepe stall up ahead. This one's Marion Crepes, which I believe was the first crepe stand there was in Harajuku. And another one right opposite, Angel's Heart. It's worth exploring some of these side streets as well as the main street. There's another ACDC rag down there. In ACDC they have half colourful and pastel things and half darker, more punky, goth style clothes. Men's okay. Lots of the sizes are quite big, so I think they'd fit a variety of sizes. Remember, not everything's on ground level, sometimes things are upstairs, so look out for signs and shops that are above everything else. I don't remember seeing this shop before either. Moosh, a squishy shop. It kind of smells of strawberries in here, doesn't it? Wow, there's a whole bakery of squishies. Now, I'm no squishy expert, but they are not cheap squishies. They're only about 1800 yen each. It's a really cute shop though. Here's a shop with some more like American street style clothing. And up here is another great shop, Bodyline. 
if you like Lolita style dresses but you're not really into all the brands or you don't have 200 pounds to spend on a dress you can get the same style of clothes for a lot less at Bodyline and they also have quite a lot of cosplay outfits. Well Bodyline has changed a lot since I first went to it. When I first went it was all Lolita with a little bit of cosplay and now it's loads of cosplay with a little bit of Lolita. They've got loads of the sailor school uniforms and maid dresses, they've got lots of wigs and lots of shoes in there. If you do like their dresses you can buy them online, I've ordered them from the UK. Here's the Calby Cafe, Calby is a brand of Chris and they have some special things like Chris with guacamole on and this is where you can get Chris with ice cream and chocolate sauce. There's a convenience store here to get your lunch for your yoga park and across here is my crepe stand of choice. <laughs> That's the one I always go to. I'm sure all the crepe stands are good though. They all look pretty similar to be honest. Crepes are the traditional snack of Harajuku and when you come here you have to have one. You're going to need all that sugar for energy for looking around the shops. They've got so many different varieties with cream, chocolate sauce, fruit. Some of them even have cake and cheesecake in them and they're all good. Unless, like Phil, you choose the savoury crepe. It's just wrong. <laughs> They've got special sakura crepes for cherry blossom season. They all look delicious. <laughs> I think I've got to try one of the special ones. You don't have to remember the whole name, you just tell them the number. Here's my crap. I've got sakura, mixed berry, whipped cream, strawberry sauce, everything. <laughs> Smells delicious. And Phil's got tuna pizza cheese. Yeah, I've had it before and it is delicious, so I'm having it again. It looks less fun than mine and savoury crepes are wrong. <laughs> if you like pizza. I like pizza, yeah, but I don't yeah. want that. I wouldn't eat the tuna anyway, but yeah. no. <laughs> Delicious. Everyone should have it. More of them. More savoury crepes. No, down with the savoury crepes. <laughs> this is another side street of Sefesha Street. We've got Anna. Here's another big Harajuku brand. And their shop's hidden away down the stairs. Here's a bunch of spins. Inside that, they've got Park Harajuku, which is a shop that sells clothes with anime artwork on. If you've watched Urahara, that anime is set in Park Harajuku, that's where all the girls work. People have been sneakily taking some pictures of me <laughs> now, which is fine, but if they ask, they get a better picture. <laughs> Here's a side street off a side street. <laughs> to start with, I never realised that all these tiny roads were here. <laughs> we just come out of that side street by Angel Crepes, and we've got Liz Lisa, a really popular brand. This stuff's a bit frilly and girly for me, but a lot of people like it. Ah, uh, look, it goes upstairs as well. If you look between the buildings, there's an outlet sale with 70% off. Oh, this is cute. This shop opposite's got some cute designs as well. They're kind of not as colourful, but still cute patterns and things. With lots of cats. I join you. <laughs> and these sizes are actually quite big. These clothes are all one size, but they, if you're small, they'd be quite baggy. And then if you're a larger size, they would probably fit you as well. Hedgehogs! <laughs> That's going to be a thing, right? Yeah, hedgehogs is going to be a trend. <laughs> I hope so. And another one. We've got lots more sushi and cats and sushi cats and dinosaurs. This here is Cute Cube, which is a building with several shops inside. And they've got the Pom Pom Furin Cafe. Long, longer, longest has these like novelty foods. They've got really tall ice cream. Candy Go Go, we've got another sweet shop. I think this is the one where that Avril Lavigne video was filmed. Yeah, she had a, a Hello Kitty song that was just terrible. <laughs> Up there is Closet Child. That's the second-hand shop that sells uh, lots of brand clothing. They've got the Lita, Gothic and Punk, Vivian Westwood, that sort of thing. And you have to go up the stairs to get to that one. It's easily missed. The Cat and Owl Cafe. It looks like it's done up like the Rainforest Cafe or something. Opposite that, we've got a Sanrio store. Cute outfit here. This shop's tax-free if you show your passport. A couple of the larger shops are like Tokyo Ham and places like that. There's another Etude house here, just in case you missed the first one. <laughs> Their shops do look nice with the chandelier. We're coming up to the next ACDC rag. We're getting towards the end of Chester Street now. There's some shops with bags. There's a lot of shoes there. They said no photos, so I can't really show you that one, sorry. Here's Listen Flavor. You might know them. <laughs> This looks cute. Zero Tan Park. 
I'm not sure what that is. I can see some plushies through the window there. And Pet Paradise, you can get clothes and accessories for your pets. I don't think they've got any hamster stuff. This Sol Adol is another building with several shops in. Sweets Paradise is a buffet. It's just got Love Toxic. That one's really popular. And another Wego. My top tip, just to the right of that is a little alleyway. And they have benches down there. Places to sit down can be quite hard to find in Tokyo. So that's a good place to sit and have your lunch or just have a drink and rest your feet. Dramatic pinky flight. <laughs> Very dramatic. Oh, those fruit bags are really cute. Up the stairs is Sweets Paradise. It's a buffet. They do have some food there and drinks, but the main reason to go is all the cakes and cream cakes. It's a buffet. Eat as much as you like. And there's a new Wego. There's another one across the street. I think they're taking over because there's Wego down here as well. And that's the end of Takeshita Street. Next time, I'm going to show you what else there is. We'll explore the back streets, which have a completely different feel, and I'll show you some less well-known places. See you then.